thousand people in the street Singing songs and a carrying signs Mostly say hooray for our side It's time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video is going to be fitting a Tegra short shifter or I do know uh, other brands such as the MJC short shifter, I think it's called and um, they will work the exact same as fitting this because they are basically the exact same um, So yeah, I got this one off uh, Facebook. So here it is. This is the Tegra short shifter as you can see on there um, Yeah, I am missing one of the Allen key bolts, but obviously if you are getting it new you won't be um, but it isn't a massive issue, I don't think it'll make a difference personally. So anyway, let's get uh, started. So all you're going to need is just a Allen key for the Allen key bolts on there. And then a spanner, which in this case is a 14mm um, for the skunk to gear knob uh, bottom nut that uh, tightens up to it. So yeah, to get that off. Okay, so uh, I'll move the camera and I'll just show you how we're going to actually go about fitting this. It's a very easy, quick job to do. Uh, it shouldn't take long at all, so let's get going. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera down while I'm actually doing this, but um, all you want to do is basically just loosen the nut on here. So this is the um, the bottom that actually goes on. That's very tight, so I'll sort that out in a second. And I can hold that while I'm doing it. So you just take this off and then take that off. Okay, so now you've got the locking nut off and the gear knob. Uh, what we're going to want to do is pull this bottom piece out. Uh, so all you're going to want to do is the easiest way probably is to grab in there. There's a clip at the bottom and then there's a clip there and a clip there. Be careful with these because on the corners it's quite thin and it's a bit of a hard clip to get out. So you're just going to want to keep pulling on this and just kind of pry it around. It's very hard to do because I haven't got a tripod that will fit in here. But, um, so you are going to want to just pull that out. Try and get that on over there first. And now you can see it does um, come off should do just be very careful with it don't drag on it there we go so that one's come off there we go so that came off a lot easier than uh, last time uh, okay so now we've got in here this is a little bit different uh, so we'll just pull them off uh, they're actually connected in here so I'll just disconnect that uh, yes yeah, so I'll just disconnect that here take that out Prongs. Okay, so I'll take that out. That, that'll be a bit different. It would just like a little plug that goes on there if you've got a cigarette lighter. And then this one here is just the uh, one at the top. So it's like a little clip. You just push that in and pull it out. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, and um, we can just put this down at the bottom. And basically, what you're going to want to take off is uh, these two clips at the bottom. So I do believe these just push to either side. So they just push off. Um, we'll get that clip. Do not let anything fall down here, by the way, guys. It's going to be able to get out. Okay, so now that you've got that off, uh, just be careful with this clip. Luckily, I've got a spare one, so I'm not going to have to remove anything to get to it. Um, basically, this clip that comes off here, uh, this one, just be careful that you don't drop that down the back. So just take it off either side. Um, but yeah, once you got that off, this little uh, thing has to come off. Um, so that's going to be a bit hard to get off, but we'll try just getting a spanner under that like that and we'll just pry it off there. That should be enough leverage on it, so I'll just do that now. And then uh, just put your hand over the other side so it doesn't fly off anywhere. Make sure you're holding it um, when you pry it off. So we'll get that off now, that little bit, because that is what is going to go on the end of your short shifter on the little uh, the little bit there. So that'll just go on there. So we'll just get that off now. Okay, so now that we've got that off, 15mm um, spanner worked uh, the best on that. Um, so all you're going to want to do is just get the short shifter and just put that on the end, it might be a bit hard to do, you might have to clamp it in between your hands to get it on so I'll just do that now ok so now that that's on, it wasn't actually that hard to put on um, we should be good to put that in, so we'll just take all the allen screws out, make sure not to lose them and now that I've got them off and they're separated uh, like so what I'm going to do is put 
the bit with the end on down in the bottom one you're just going to want to slot that over uh, the bottom piece there a little bit at the bottom so we'll slot that over and then this one at the top and uh, we'll need hammering in I do believe uh, so we'll just get a hammer oh, might be able to push that on actually with enough force so yeah it's kind of gone on without a hammer I'll just push the bottom one in and uh, now just push that in it's quite tight as well but anything so yeah that is pretty much flush I'll just get the torch down there just to check so yeah that's looking all good to me but that uh, them screws will pull it in anyway so uh, there we go so that is in uh, just make sure that is sat tight up to that like so so once it's looking like that we'll go and put the end over ready in fact we'll do that then sorry uh, so what we'll do now is just get this piece and uh, fit it with the, the luxury focusing. Take away a bit there. So that does go at the bottom, I believe, like so. And that just slots in there. And then we'll put the uh, Allen screws in. So we'll just thread them in, finger tight, and then we'll tighten them off. Make sure not to lose them down in this bottom bit again. Or it'll be very hard to get out. And it'll just it'll just take the piss getting it out really from down there. So just uh, make sure that they're finger tight and then finish them off. Uh, on there. Okay guys, so everything is finished. I've put the Allen screw bolts back on. Um, topping at the bottom, so just tighten them up. Don't overdo them, but make sure they're tight. There will be a slight little gap down here, I think, as well. Uh, just make sure that side's flush on there. But yeah, there'll be a little gap like, in between the plate that goes on. Um, so I think that is, uh, is going to happen. But uh, all we're going to do now is just connect this back on. So you just put that connector back in there. And then connect that side back up however yours is set up uh, see so yeah, I'll connect them up and then slot that over and then just uh, push everything back in and I'll put the gear knob on and uh, put the little uh, bolt on the little nut even on there and uh, yeah okay so now everything is back in it does make a ridiculous difference how much shorter that is you can definitely tell a difference uh, I don't know if it's just how I've installed mine if it's just like the way that it's rotated on the the connection bit but it seems like it's a bit higher up like when you shift it's like all the shifts are like higher up so I think because it, it brings it up a bit on that side it just pushes it all forward um, so yeah it might feel a little bit kind of higher up right. so when you're going to get it like that everything yeah. so obviously making uh, the gear shift shorter so yeah there we go that is just way better and um, I will be doing another video shortly um, doing the bushes so hopefully that should fix um, that I should get rid of on playing the shifter uh, so I'll be fitting Tegra shifter bushes in the, uh, on the gearbox and then in here and the bushes in here I'll be fitting them so it doesn't do that um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed today's video um, hopefully it was useful if you are fitting these on your car I would definitely recommend getting a short shifter and um, either companies should be fine in terms of how it works it's just the exact same concept really um, so yeah thank you for watching uh, if you did enjoy this video please do check out my other videos I've got loads of videos on civics and uh, bits to install as uh, so if you are looking at installing other bits I probably will have a video on it as well and uh, drop a subscription if you are interested I'll be doing more videos like this and a lot of other types of videos as well on the Civic so yeah please do drop a like drop a comment uh, subscribe obviously thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video